welcome to today's video. So as restrictions here in the States start to loosen up, many of you are probably gearing up to start your fitness goals. So today I'm here to help you create an effective workout routine for those goals. Now I know starting a goal seems like a lot of fun. You're hoping to get into the gym, incorporate a new routine into your life for your benefit, and come out looking your absolute best. But now let's say you get to the gym and then you look around you and you're like, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. You know, maybe you'll get onto the bench and then realize, okay, wait, maybe I want to do legs. But then you're like, wait, what am I going to do tomorrow? Now wait, what am I going to do the day after? If I do legs today, should I do legs again later or next week? These are a lot of questions, aren't they? That's the purpose of this video. I'm here to help you understand how to format your own workout routine. So now let's talk routine. Creating an effective workout routine requires two things I feel are very important. Now, the first one is creating a workout routine that you can enjoy so you can do it long term. The second is making sure that you're working out the muscle group twice a week. So science has shown that 48 to 72 hours after your muscles have just been worked out on, they can actually be worked out on again. Isn't science neat that we can figure that out? So one piece of advice, don't work out like me. I used to work out my chest on a Monday and then Tuesday I believe I did back and then Wednesday would be legs, Thursdays I believe was shoulders and arms and then Fridays was just, what was it? Oh, it was whatever muscle group that I didn't work out intensely, I would just do on the Friday. Yeah, it's safe to say I didn't know what the hell I was doing back then. Now the next topic, following workout routines from others. Now if you follow different people in the fitness industry, a lot of them post a lot of different types of techniques to do workouts. And now this isn't a shot at anybody that posts workout videos because I do the same thing, but these should be nothing more than a guide for you. It's a way for you to follow proper technique and to really narrow down what kind of exercises that you would want to include in your workout routine. Following these workout routines, however, do not guarantee results. I used to make the same mistake where I would try and just find the most shredded person that I could and follow their workout routine and think that that's the way that I could get shredded and get my best physique. So please do not make the same mistakes that I did. So now let's talk about creating workout routine around your schedule. We've all been there as far as the excuses that come either saying that I don't have time to live, my schedule doesn't allow me to live, or whatever the case may be. The unfortunate reality with all these excuses though is that they're not going to translate to results. If you're only going to be lifting about let's say twice a month and then you know have a very poor diet, you're not going to see the results that you're going to want. You have to really put in the work and incorporate fitness into your life if that's what you want. We've seen with the current pandemic going on that home workouts are effective and there's ways to do it and incorporate it into our lives. 24 hour gyms also exist so that also does help you with your scheduling. Now if you figure out a way to schedule it, now let's talk about formatting. So formatting involves what days you can actually live. For somebody that can only work out three times a week, I would highly recommend doing an upper, lower, and full body split. That way you'll be working out each muscle group twice a week. For somebody that is working out, let's say, four times a week, an upper, lower, upper, lower session would be great. Five days, I'd recommend either a legs pull push and then an upper and a lower day. For six days, I'd recommend following a legs pull push and repeat. Now these are just ways to format it, whether you want to do it vice versa of what I've said, or you want to start with a lower day and then go to an upper day or a full body day to start off first. It's whatever you really want. There's no wrong way to format it as long as you're hitting each muscle group twice a week. Now let's talk progression over time. Now progressive overload is probably a term you're going to hear a lot in the fitness industry. It's a very important key thing to remember because this is what's going to help you and your muscles grow the most. Now progressive overload in very simple terms just means that you're working your muscle group harder so that they can grow, they have a better chance at being stronger, and that you have a better chance at having overall endurance. For example, let's take benching. Let's say that you're starting off at 95 pounds benching. Now let's say after some time that you start to realize that the weight is starting to get easier and you're doing more reps. So now you decide, hey, let me add 10 pounds to each side. So now you're benching 115 pounds. So congratulations, that is basically progressive overload. It's just progression over time. Now this is very important because let's say you just work out with the same exact weight for about a year. What is giving your muscles any challenge to really grow or get better overall? Now, it's important to remember that this is a marathon and not a sprint. You have to remember that achieving your fitness goals is something that's not gonna happen overnight. Being consistent with a workout routine that you enjoy and a proper diet is what's gonna help you achieve your fitness goals. Having a poor diet and only working out a few times, let's say during the month, isn't what's gonna get you results. You gotta remember that this takes time to achieve, but I know you can do it. Always remember that greatness takes time and the little achievements is what's gonna help you get the bigger picture. Now, lastly, is fitness for you? 
this is kind of a serious topic, I guess, or a serious part of the video, but I feel like it's something that isn't talked about. Now, I've been working out for about six years now. I didn't know what I was doing at first, but I really picked up and learned on the little things in fitness and just dieting properly only about two years ago. That's a really, really long time. This is why I feel it's important to talk about whether fitness is right for you. Now, everyone has different passions. But I understand that not everyone has the same amount of love for it or the same amount of passion. And that's okay. I feel as if social media has made it really easy to breed these insecurities and just overall unhappiness that we have when we compare ourselves to others. I mean, I do the same thing. When I see someone that's a shredded figure compared to myself, it puts me down a little bit. I mean, I'd imagine it does the same to you guys in different ways. And that's easy to just get discouraged and not want to continue doing anything related to fitness. But that's where I want to talk about that it's okay if you don't. Fitness is not for everybody. Just remember that if you're healthy and you're happy, I feel that you're ahead of the game than a lot of us can probably say. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry that at the last point it got a little serious, I guess. I'm not really sure. But if there's anything that I miss, please let me know down in the comments below. I also have my social media linked in the description wherever YouTube might put it. But right now it's down in the description. Don't know if they might put it aside or wherever they decide to change it. So please leave a like if you enjoyed and if you want to see more of my videos then please hit the subscribe button. So remember to stay safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next video.